Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight's game, the Frontier Red Hawks come into Goodno Gymnasium to take on the Athol Red Raiders. Hi again, everyone. This is Chris Collins along with Alec Echo, Megan Self, Sam Finch, and also Kevin Murphy, the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports. And joining me at the mic for the first time, John Meisner. John, interesting matchup tonight. A bit of a mismatch on paper as the Red Hawks take on the Athol Red Raiders. Yeah, definitely a huge mismatch tonight. Uh, you know, Frontier's been so great this year. The Carey brothers really, really just kind of taking over the show for Frontier. And, uh, you know, Colin Boudreaux definitely makes up the kind of the third uh, string of the, I guess you could call it, three-headed monster for Frontier. They've just been uh, so dominant this year. And on offense and defense, they've really dominated the boards. Frontier comes in 5-1 and one overall, 1-0 one oh in league play. The Athol Red Raiders come in 2-5 and five overall, 0-2 oh in league play. Both these teams are in the Intercounty League North, or the uh, Franklin County League North, actually. Um, and I'll tell you, you mentioned the, the Carey brothers, but also these Frontier guys can also shoot really well from the outside. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in this one. It's a bit of a mismatch on paper. If you look at common opponents, uh, Mohawk was able to, def er, to defeat Athol. Mohawk got beaten pretty soundly in their game against Greenfield over the weekend, and Frontier pretty much handled Greenfield on their Greenfield's home floor. So a bit of a mismatch potentially, but we play these games on the floor, not on paper, so we'll see what happens. In this one, upcoming Athol and Frontier from Goodno Gymnasium will now go to the floor for the national anthem and the starting lineups and the tip-off of this one. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Duffins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheswick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Frontier Regional School for tonight's game. Our guests this evening are the Red Raiders from Athol High School. The member high schools of the MIAA cordially welcome you to this game. The students participating in tonight's contest are representing their schools, their families, and themselves. Please encourage these student athletes with your personal display of support and good sportsmanship. Now, for tonight's starting lineups, for Athol, at guard, number two, Bryce King. At guard, number 14, Nick Busque. At center, number 24, Nathan Heath. At forward, number 23, Mark Ferrari. At forward, number 12, Noah Pottinger. At the most coached by Dan Beavis. Now, for Frontier, at guard, number one, Alex Sharp. At guard, number 14, Owen Morse. At center, number 22, Karsten Carey. At forward, number 13, Peter Carey. At guard, number 2, Caleb Evans. 
And here is coach Budvan Marchewski, the officials for tonight's game. Our left bowler and Dave Whitehead. I want to thank our underwriters making tonight's broadcast possible. They include attorney Dan Graves, Bobby C's DJ Service, Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield, Webb's America's Yarn Store in Northampton and Cheslick's Market in the center of South Deerfield. We'll be hearing more about those underwriters. We thank them for their support for all of our sporting events here. And we have a number of them coming up. We've got some girls' basketball games. We have wrestling coming up uh, this week, which we'll be doing this uh, week. Uh, Matt Carlson. Back from Bentley on semester break is going to be handling the play-by-play -play for that one. And later this week we will be in Hatfield as uh, Jeff Trell and I on the Bear Country broadcast and the FCAT simulcast will be broadcasting these Red Hawks against the Smith Academy Falcons, which should be an interesting matchup. Karsten Carey jumping center with Mark Ferrari. And we are underway. Actually, that was uh, Pottinger. Quick shot off the break by Sharp is no good. Rebound controlled by the Raiders. Alpha moving left to right, wearing the red jerseys. Right side it goes to Pottinger. Pottinger runs across court. Quick bullet pass, just back out to Pottinger on the left elbow. Quick passing by Alpha right now. Over to Bryce King. To Pottinger, Pottinger, step back, deep three. Rims out, no good. Peter carry the rebound. That led to Alex Sharp. Good ball movement on that first possession by Athol, even though they didn't score. Yeah, really quick passing, but only one and out. Now Carey in a high post, broken up and stolen away by Athol. This is Bousquet and a whistle, and it's going to be a foul. I mean, actually, a kick. They're going to reset it. So they reset the shot clock. Okay. Bryce King to throw it in for the. Athol Raiders. King lobs it out. Pottinger. Top of the key. Pottinger to Bousquet. Bousquet hands it back off to King. 19 seconds on the shot clock. They drive the baseline. They feed the paint to Heath. Shot up no good. Rebound controlled by Owen Morris. Here come the Hawks. Morris jogs it up. Morris to Peter Carey on a high post. Out to Sharp. Jay is good. Sharp with a sharp shot there. <laughs> Two nothing. Frontier with the lead. 6.41 to go first quarter. King up ahead to Pottinger. Back out to King. Back over to Pottinger. Whistle and a travel. That's one thing you don't want to do, John, is give Frontier any extra shots at the ball for turnovers. No, you don't. Considering there already is a bit of a mismatch, <laughs> any... any that helps. Afa with the press. Causes the turnover of their own. Laying it up and in is Mark Ferrari. So we're tied at two. Good anticipation that time. Sharp down. Up ahead to Morse. Morse. Jumper is blocked. Peter Carey winds up with it. Pull up jumper from 12. Rims out. Sharp the rebound. Put back. No good. Karsten Carey. Put back is good. Nice job rebounding after the block that time. Yeah, Frontier owned the boards the last time against Griefer. That was one of the big keys. Up ahead to Pottinger. Pottinger to Cleveland. Bounce pass Dolan. Nice anticipation by Carey. Karsten behind the back. Dribble goes up strong. Lays it up. No. In out. Put back up. Count it and one for Karsten. Karsten with some fancy moves there as he goes to the basket. Yeah, behind little, the back. A little showtime there. And so that's 6-2. Frontier by four. And Carey with a chance for a three-point play. And it does not go. But Peter gets the rebound. Back to his brother. Ball loose on the floor. Battle for it. And a whistle. It's going to go for Athol. Six-two Frontier. Five thirty-five to go. First quarter. Bryce King now crosses the timeline. And now a little reach-in foul as Alex Sharp reached in on Mark Ferrari. A little overly aggressive that time by Carey. I think Carey was thinking, or I think Sharp was thinking uh, poke. And now double coverage all over King. Up ahead. Bryce now in the corner. Jumper. No good. Karst in the rebound. Outlet to Sharp. 
Alex over to a quick turnaround jumper is good. A hook shot by Karsten on the pass from his brother. 8-2. Frontier by six. Largest lead. Bryce King now. Looking for someone to pass to. Nobody around. Finally gets it away. That's the handoff. Out of bounds. So Afal, a little bit discombobulated right now, John. Yeah, nice double team that time by Frontier. But you're right. Frontier's off to a great start. They're owning this one. Really. Hamlet Evans inbound pass is stolen. Knocked away and put up on the glass. No good. Rebound pulled down by Carey. That was Bousquet that took the shot. Outlet to Alex. Sharp right side to Morse. Morse to Peter. Peter. And at Karsten. In the corner to Alex. And a poke by King. Stays with the frontier with 15 seconds left in the shot clock. So right now, Athol is stepping up the defense a bit. Sharp inbounds to Kaelin Evans. Evans to Morse. Right side to Sharp. Sharp to Peter Carey. Hook shot is good. Right in the lane. Right in his sweet spot that time. 10-2. Frontier by 8. 4.14 to go. Period 1. Race King brings it up. King going to work on Sharp. Tried to feed the paint and looks like it was foul against uh, Heath for Athol. His first, team's second. Nathan Heath. Now Evans, a little front court pressure by Athol. Up ahead to Sharp. Sharp to Peter Carey. Carey goes up, off the glass and in. They broke that press, no problem. Yeah, no, no trouble trying to get up the court despite being a front court or, or full court pressure, I should say, by Athol. Time on the floor, we'll take the break. 3.50 to go in the first quarter. It's Frontier 12, Athol 2. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Athol inbounds it out of the timeout, trailing by 10. King now over to Pottinger, back to King. The three-quarter court pressure by the Hawks. Pottinger crosses the timeline, trying to weave through. Goes in the corner to Ferrari. Ferrari spots up for three, air ball. Kalen Evans pulls down the rebound to Carey. To Alex Sharp. Sharp, top of the key to Peter. Right side to Kalen Evans. Evans to Sharp. Sharp to Morse. Morse. Oh, you wanted that three. Held off. Morse to Evans. Evans to Carey. High post. And Carey off the glass and in off balance. Great shot. Yeah, nice off balance shot that time. It took all, almost all the time on the shot clock, but it paid off. Bryce King now brings it up. Trying to drive through, draws the foul, ran right at Carey, and Carey will get called for the ticket. His first, I believe, and the team's second. Well, actually, no, they didn't call a foul, I don't think. I think they just called the ball out of bounds, so. Yeah, there was no foul that time. Break there for, for Frontier. Ferrari with the inbound pass, shot up no good. Carey the rebound, outlet to Sharp. Frontier owning the boards right now, as they usually do. Sharp left side to Evans. Carey, top of the key. Carey. Karsten, skyhook. No good. Rebound pulled down by Afro. Outlet to Pottinger. Pottinger runs it up. Foul on the floor. We got Owen Morse. That'll be, I believe, his first team second. A couple of subs coming in for the Raiders. It looks like a Keegan Lutz for Athol coming in, one of them. And, uh, and uh, Edwards as well, number three. Yeah, Brett Robinson checking in for Frontier along with Colin Boudreaux. Peter Carey checks out, as does Kalen Evans. Athol with the ball now, Ferrari. Over to Keegan Lutz. To King. Back to Ferrari, in the corner it goes. And still going to be Frontier, uh, Athol ball rather, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Pass into King, King. That uh, goes right side to Lutz. Lutz tries to drive, shot off and blocked. 
Stolen back by Robinson. Over to Owen Morse. So you got a three guard offense in there right now for Frontier. Boudreau, left side to Robinson, that's Sharp under the basket, lays it up and in. Good timing, got his guy up in the air. Boy, Sharp had all day to get that one off, just completely wide open, blown defense by Ethel. 16-2, largest lead for the Hawks, 14 points. Pass in the lane, stolen back by Morse. Not a good pass by Ferrari there. Getting ready to check in is Sam Felton Emmerich for Frontier. Sharp now to Morse at the rings. Morse tries to drive Oni. They're going to call an offensive foul, it looks like, on Morse. Drawn nicely by Lutz. Well, he just leveled, <laughs> leveled Lutz that time. <laughs> yeah, and they're going to leave. Well, actually, no, they're going to bring Morse out because he's got two fouls, so he'll get out of the game. And Gabe Thompson, James Jones Thompson's in, as is Sam Felton Emmerich. King now over to Lutz. To Biscay. Got to get it over, and they do. Ferrari now to King. Bryce pulls back. Tries to feed the baseline, can't do it. And the outlet pass knocked loose. Still frontier ball as it went off of King. But I'll tell you, two points on the scoreboard for Athol with a minute to go in the quarter. You don't win basketball games with two points in a quarter. No, you don't. Just an ugly start to the game for Athol. I mean, Frontier's dominating in every aspect so far. Offense, defense. And Inbound pass to Walkowitz, just end of the game. Walkowitz over to Felton Emmerich. Top of the key to Boudreaux. Boudreaux in the corner to Walkowitz. Walkowitz back out to Felton Emmerich. Hands off to Robinson. Three ball. No good. And... Rebound pulled down by Dickerson Edwards. And I think they're going to get a foul over the back. And it's going to be on Colin Boudreaux, his first, team's fourth. 43 seconds to go in the quarter, 16 2. Red Hawks in front. Nick Bousquet now crosses half court. Busquet hands it off to King, and a reach-in foul is going to be called on Gabe Jones-Thompson. That's the 15 foul, so Frontier starting to rack up the foul calls. Yeah, it's the only one thing that's gone against Frontier in this first quarter is their foul trouble, they, they, but they've been great in every other aspect. King gets the inbound pass into the backcourt. 26 seconds to go in the quarter. Busquet now. Bousquet to Pottinger, back to King. King to Bousquet. On the baseline it goes. Shot up is good by Dickerson Edwards, camped on the baseline. 16-4, and a travel is called on Owen Walkowitz. So going back the other way. 6.1 seconds left. Shot clock will be off. Let's see what Athol does here for their final shot if they get anything going. Lob it back to King. King runs it up. Feeds the baseline. Jumper at the buzzer is no good, and that will do it in the first quarter. We played one quarter from Goodno Gymnasium. At the end of one, it's Frontier 16, Athol 4. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Chris Collins, John Meisner, Alec Eckel, Sam Finch, Megan Self, and the executive producer of Frontier Community Television's 
Sports coverage. Kevin Murphy here at Goodenough Gymnasium. Second quarter underway. And Athol's got some work to do, trailing 16 to 4. Biscay now with the ball, left side. And I don't know who that was intended to do, but it actually was tipped. So it stayed with Athol with 18 seconds to shoot. Yeah, pass to no one in particular that time. <laughs> it looked like it was deflected, and obviously it was because it's still Athol ball. Lutz now with it. Lutz goes right side to Pottinger. Pottinger bounce pass to Lutz. Keegan with nine seconds on the shot clock over to Bryce King. King trying to pass it through. Stolen back by Alex Sharp. Up ahead to Peter Carey. Carey to Karsten. Karsten lays it up and in. That's almost too easy. Yeah, couldn't have done that any better. 18-4, <laughs> Frontier by 14. Let's to King, and he tried to feed the lane. Ends up in the hands of Pottinger, and it's stolen back by Frontier. So Frontier did a great job defensively. Sharp now, right side to Morris. Morris to Sharp. Sharp to Karsten, the low post. Karsten tries to go through and draws the foul. And it's going to be two shots for the big man, Karsten Carey. That's going to be the first foul on Pottinger, third on the team. But this is a two-shot foul situation for Karsten Carey. First shot is good. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. He's Deerfield's town moderator. He's an attorney in Greenfield. Call his office, 773-8706 for all your legal needs. And Bobby C's DJ service. Best mobile DJ in the Valley. Over five years running. BobbyC'sDJService.com. He makes the first, misses the second, does Karsten Carey. 19-4. King now goes cross court to Lutz. Lutz back in the middle, back over to King. King back to Lutz. Lutz pull up jumper just inside the arc. Misses badly. Rebound control by Athol, though. And it's Ferrari now. Shot, no good. Sharp the rebound. Boy, Frontier really bringing the pressure on defense. Having to make some tough passes that time was Athol. Absolutely. Right side to Morris. Morris fakes the three, drives through. Oh, and he gets blocked. Went up for the jumper. Frontier will keep it with 21 seconds to shoot. That was Pottinger who came over and made that block. Sharp looking to throw it in. Gets Karsten on the baseline. Karsten gets partially blocked on the way up. Rebound controlled by Afro. Coast to coast. Can't make the layup is King. And Kalen Evans with the rebound. Oh, and Kalen loses his footing, goes sliding. Up ahead to Ferrari, who lays it up and in. Well, that layup kind of makes up for the missed layup before. 19-6, yeah. <laughs> Frontier by 13. Evans now, got bumped on the way through by Dickerson Edwards. And that's gonna be his first team's fourth. Should be a possession foul, no shooting. Sharp to throw it in for the Hawks. Gets to Carey. Out to Kalen. Morris now to Sharp. Sharp for three. No. Peter Carey the rebound. Spins through the lane. Tries to feed Karsten. Can't do it. Bell knocked around. Athol steals it back. And Sharp just picked the pocket of Dickerson Edwards. Dickerson Edwards, a little attitude there. A little frustration that time for Dixon Edwards. I mean, I don't blame him. You're down by double digits. You're going to show some frustration. <laughs> Sharp now. Crosses half court. Right side to Karsten. Karsten to Peter. Peter. And gets fouled on the way up again. It's Dickerson Edwards. Playing very aggressive. And Dickerson Edwards has gone up strong against the two big men for Frontier a couple of times now. No easy task, that's for sure. Well, he definitely gives up a, a considerable size advantage to both those guys. Peter Carey's first shot is good. Nice game being brought to you in part by Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deer of Holiday is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Peter Carey with the second shot. And that one goes after a number of bounces. Boy, when you're hot, you're hot. I mean, everything's <laughs> going Frontier's way already. That's very <laughs> true. 15 points with 5.27 to go. Now, did he call a timeout or? No, 
Okay, so it's just a quick sub. So we're back at it. 21-6, Frontier by 15, their largest lead so far. 5.23 to go in the half. King, now cross-court pass, it goes to Lutz. Lutz trying to feed the paint to Payne. The King, down the baseline, back to Lutz. Lutz trying to drive through, blocked, knocked loose. Kalen Evans with the steal. Well, that pass to Lutz almost was headed in my direction. I was starting to see my life flash before my eyes there for a second. <laughs> King skies, knocks it out of bounds. Frontier will keep it. 25 to shoot, five even on the game clock. I was, always, I was always more of a baseball guy anyway for basketball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that can be kind of nerve wracking too when you play a car on a baseball game and they're hitting yeah. foul balls down the line at you. Carey, it's a nice pass in the baseline to Sharp, lays it up and in. 23 6. As we expected, the blowout is on. Let's now. To King. That's going to be a kick and a reset. It's going to be off of Boudreaux. Actually, they're going to say he didn't kick it. So still 14 seconds on the shot clock. And Busquet into the game for Athol. Ferrari now in the corner to Busquet. Pottinger on the baseline. Jumper off the glass. No good by Riley Payne. Rebound pulled down by Frontier. Evans now with it. Kalen. In the middle it goes to Carey. Right side to Peter. Peter to Kalen Evans. Top of the key. Evans to Sharp. Sharp to Karsten. Karsten stripped on the way up. Don't see that very often. Nice play by Ferrari. That's all that time with a little bit of pressure. Ferrari now, right side to Lutz. Lutz to Payne. Payne runs into carry. It's going to be a foul on Karsten. Athol will keep it. It's the first on Karsten. 16 foul on the Hawks. One more, and we're to the one and one. Lutz to throw it in to Ferrari. Back to Keegan. Back over to Ferrari. Ferrari tried to bounce it to Payne, stolen by Peter. Peter lobs it up ahead to Boudreau. Back to Karsten. Karsten off the glass. Wave off the bucket. Offensive foul. So that's two quick ones on Karsten. And this should be... No, they're, they're going to say it's not a shooting foul. That was number seven, so we're bringing it back up the floor. Ferrari with the ball now. Ferrari... Lobs it back to Keegan on the baseline. Jumper on the baseline is good by Pottinger. He's in the book. Pottinger on the board that time. Right side to Kalen Evans now. Evans to Sharp. Top of the key. Carey. Boudreaux. And gets bumped on the way up. And it'll be two shots for Colin Boudreaux. Boudreaux's first one is good. Tonight's game being brought to you by Webb's, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime Deerfield residents. They are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Second shot by Boudreaux upcoming. And that one's good. Makes them both. Boudreaux's the only one with some style. He's got the nicest hair about him, anybody on the <laughs> he on does. here. <laughs> he does. And a lot of times he has it pinned up. Tonight it's just free flowing. Looking like the 70s a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Now Ferrari dishes back to Payne. Payne tries to pass it out. Can't. Evans with the steal. Kalen goes up strong, lays it up and in. 27 to 8. Frontier by 19. Let's now. Right side to Biscay. Skate at the top of the key to Lutz right side. Let's go cross court. Busquet jumper from the elbows, no good. Payne the putback, rebound, no good. And they're going to get Boudreaux over the back. Yeah, he was draped on his back that time, so that'll be a foul on. This should be a one and one here for Noah Pottinger. 
Bryce King is back in. Keegan Lutz takes a seat on the bench. So Noah Pottinger at the line. Percent of the one and one is no good. Carry the rebound. Now it's a Kalen. Evans calls the play. Right side goes to Sam felt -Nemerick. In the middle to Gabe Jones-Thompson. felt -Nemerick now to Carey in a high post. Carey tries to feed the paint to his brother. Can't do it. And King steals it for Athol. Right side to Bousquet. Bousquet kicks it back to King. In the corner it goes to Ferrari. Bousquet, top of the key. King for three. Good! And out on the floor, we'll take the break. 146 to go in the half. On the scoreboard, Frontier 27, half all 11. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Coming up later this week, the Frontier Red Hawks travel to Hatfield for their first meeting of the season with the Smith Academy Falcons. We'll have that game for you Thursday night. Plus, we've got wrestling coming up this week as well. All of these games, if you're watching on FCAT's Channel 12, can be seen on demand at the FCAT Media page at YouTube.com. Sam felton now brings it up for the Hawks. Up by 16, right side to Gabe Gachinski into the game for the first time. Boudreaux feeds the baseline to Nurminger, who's just into the game, and he travels. So again, almost an entirely new look out there for Frontier. Yeah, with a double-digit lead, you can afford to make changes and not have it affect anything. Bryce King now brings it up for Athol. To Ferrari, back to King. Bounce pass to Payne in a high post. Payne going to work on Nurminger. Shot partially blocked. Put back on the foul up, though. He is good by Pottinger. Nice work that time by Payne. Kind of maneuver, kind of slithered his way around to get to the basket. Leads cut to 14. Gachinski now kicks it back out. Gachinski, the right elbow for three. Air ball, but Nurminger there for the rebound. Puts it up and in. Good, good follow up by Nurminger. Right where he needed to be. 29-13. 54 seconds left in the half. Left side it goes. Now a jumper in the lane is an air ball. Recovered, though, by Ferrari. Back out to King. King for three. Back iron, no good. Gachinski the rebound. Wachinski runs it up past Riley Payne. Up ahead, knocked out of bounds by King. Frontier will keep it. 24 on the shot clock, 34 on the game clock. Gabe Jones-Thompson. Tries to throw it in. Knocked out of bounds by King. Frontier will keep it. Jones Thompson to throw it in for the Hawks. Throws it to the backcourt to Sam Felton Emmerich. Felton Emmerich, right side to Jones Thompson. To Boudreaux. Boudreaux to Neumanger on the baseline. And Boudreaux up fakes. Feeds Neumanger on the baseline. Neumanger kicks it back out. Shot up. Second effort is good by Gabe Jones Thompson. Nice uptake that time by Frontier. 31 13. 10 seconds to go in the half. Bryce King to Ferrari. And Ferrari lets it go at the buzzer. Good! Well, that three had some arc on it. Nice finish to the quarter by Athol. They're, they're trailing by 15 as they head into halftime, but, uh, but this one's been all frontier so far, just dominating in every aspect of this game, Chris. <laughs> we will take a break, come back with second half action at the end of one half. It's Frontier 31 and Athol 16. It's Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television.
RefCats coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Chris Collins and John Meisner back out here at Goodnote Gymnasium. Second half action upcoming. The Red Hawks out in front of the Athol Red Raiders by a count of 31-16. Not much to criticize in that first half, John. Red Hawks came out pretty solid. Yeah, Frontier's playing an excellent first half. I mean, the only thing that, that concerns me a little bit is two things, actually, if you're Frontier, is the foul trouble. Looks like they've got a couple guys with at least two fouls. And you don't want to take a team like Athol too lightly, even though they're down by 15 points. I mean, they, they look a little sluggish, Athol, but, I mean, you know, it's so common in sports for teams to take a team too lightly, and it comes back to haunt you. So I think Frontier's going to have to make sure they stay focused in the second half and not uh, get carried away. I would agree. Right now, leading uh, Frontier in scoring is Karsten Carey with 11 points, but as John pointed out, two fouls as well. Six for Peter Carey, six for Alex Sharp, and two each for Zach Nurminger, Colin Boudreau, Gabe Jones-Thompson, and Kalen Evans. Seven points for Mark Ferrari for Athol, four for Noah Pottinger, Three for Bryce King and two for Dickerson Edwards. Starting the second half with Frontier with the basketball. And actually, Athol will throw it in right in front of us as Ferrari spins it into Bryce King. Back out to Ferrari. Ferrari being guarded by Kalen Evans. Trying to work on Kalen. Tries to pass the corner. Peter Carey is able to bounce it out. Nice play by Carey to bounce it out off of Nate. He's Very nice play. Heads up. Throws right off the defender. Keeps possession. A lot of speculation as to whether their Carey will go to private school next year. There's a possibility that he and Karsten both will go to a private school in the area, but no definite uh, real commentary about that at this point. Evans for three from the elbow is good. Evans from downtown that time. It's a nice three-pointer from the corner. Now he, he likes that shot. Now he's good with it, but he, he likes to take it. 34-16. King goes cross court. And a three-point bomb is an air ball by Pottinger. Out of bounds. Frontier will keep it. I'm just curious, what, what school do the Carey brothers want to go to? The private school? They, they, there's been speculation that Karsten will go postgraduate and that Peter might follow him, but there's been no school name. It's just a rumor at this point. I probably shouldn't have mentioned it, but I, I thought it was a good talking point. A little give and go. Peter with the follow-up as Evans missed the bunny. Peter's second shot is good. Once again, those big carry brothers owning the glass. Lee is 20, the largest for Frontier. It helps to be close to six feet tall. <laughs> it does. Ferrari stolen away by Sharp. Alex to Peter. Peter just inside the arc. Jumper no good. Rebound King. King takes off, pulls back, and gets bumped on the way through. And it's going to be on Alex Sharp. It's going to be a possession foul. His second, team's first of the half. Bousquet to throw it in for the Raiders. He does to Pottinger out of bounds, and we're going the other way. Sharp now bringing it up for the Hawks. Alex right side to Morse. Starting five out there for the Red Hawks. And Karsten Carey has the ball taken away by Ferrari up to Bryce King. King pull up jumper. Back iron no good. Peter Carey the rebound. And they're going to call him for a travel. I didn't see a travel that time, did you? I didn't either. It looked like there was some contact. That may have caused an extra step, but it wasn't obvious. So Athol will keep the ball. They throw it back out to King. 
King bounce pass on a high post to Ferrari. Back to King. Ferrari now, pull up jumper from 12 off the glass and in. Banked it. Nice use of the glass. 36 18. 6 2 to go in the third. Sharp. Morse. Deep three. Side iron, no good. Carry the rebound. Stepped on the line. Affa will get it. King now. A little bit of uh, front court pressure by the Hawks. Carry now up on King. Bounces it ahead to Bousquet. Bousquet trying to feed the baseline. Can't. Karsten Carey comes away with it. Karsten takes off, lays it up and in. Yeah, just too much pressure that time for Athol to deal with. 38-18, lead back up to 20. Now there's some more front court pressure. Up ahead, it goes to Ferrari. Ferrari passes deflected by Evans, ends up in the hands of Heath. Heath tries a scoop pass, and it's knocked out by Karsten Carey. Athol will keep it. I thought it was looking at a pinball there for a second when that bounced off the <laughs> frontier there. It did look like a pinball game there. Athol, time out on the floor, we'll take the break. 521 to go in the third, Frontier 38, Athol 18. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, John Meisner, Alec Echol, Megan Self, Sam Finch, and Kevin Murphy out here at Good No Gymnasium. Athol to throw in with 18 seconds of the shot clock, trailing by 20. Ferrari in the king. Bryce. Bounce pass to Ferrari. The high post back out to King. Nine seconds to shoot. King working on Sharp. King still with it. Four seconds. Three. A wild shot up by Heath. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by Frontier. They used every bit of that shot clock. Boy, great defense that time by Frontier. Morse in a high post to, King, to uh, Terry. Evans, carry now, jumper from the foul line is no good. Karsten battle for the rebound, controlled by Athol. Up ahead to Bousquet, Bousquet. Fouled on the way up, and so Bousquet, Nick Bousquet rather, will go to the line to shoot. Bousquet's first of two. Is good. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Cheslick's Market in the center of South Deerfield. Great coffee, great snacks, awesome lunch specials. Go see Nicole and the gang today right across from the Common in South Deerfield. Second shot is good. Makes them both. 38-20. Frontier by 18. Sharp ahead to Morse. Morse. Bounce pass down to Karsten. Karsten. Fighting through a double team, gets fouled on the way up, and he will go to the line. Well, I thought actually with a good double team that time on the foul. Let's see what they got on the foul. It's going to be two on Nate Heath and Karsten Carey at the line for a couple. First shot is good. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by attorney Dan Graves. He's Deerfield's town moderator. He's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Give him a call, 773. 8706 for all your legal needs. Second shot is good. He makes them both. You know, I can't help when I hear the, the Carey brothers' names. I can't help but think of the prices right with Drew Carey. It's just, <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting to say, Carey, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, they'll throw him down. They can definitely I, throw Peter, him down. Peter Carey had four dunks in that first game against uh, Ludlow. Shot up is no good by Pottinger. Rebound controlled by Camlin Evans. Evans, right side to Morse. Morse, side iron, no good. Rebound to Heath. Outlet to Ferrari. Ferrari actually under the basket got the outlet pass from Pottinger. He lays it up and in. Great outlet pass that time. 40-22. Four minutes to go in the third. Morse to Sharp. Sharp carrying high post. That's Carson. Carson just going to take the shot. Makes it. Nice mid-range jump shot. You give him that kind of an open look, he'll take it every time. King. Passes it up ahead to Bousquet. Bousquet being guarded by Sharp. Having a tough time getting it over. Just barely does. Ferrari now spots up for three. Back iron no good. Karsten the rebound. Now let to Alex Sharp. Alex runs it cross court. To Peter, top of the key. To Morse. Morse drives the baseline. And foul on the floor. As Morse got bumped. 
non-shooting. And Morris will check out. And Britt Robinson will check in for Frontier. Keegan Lutz is back in for Athol, as is Bremier Dickerson Edwards for the Red Raiders. Sharp to Carey. Carey working around to Cameron Evans. Evans tries to feed the paint. Carey winds up with it. It's Karsting. It's hit on the way up. And again, the guy making it happen in terms of defense, but he got called for the foul was Dickerson Edwards. Yeah, Dickinson's playing some good defense, but he's got to be careful he doesn't get into too much foul trouble. Well, he's had no fear against these larger carry brothers. First shot by Karsten is good. He'll get one more. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Bobby C's DJ Service. Best mobile disc jockey in the Valley, five years running. Book your next party, BobbyC'sDJService.com. Second shot misses, but Frontier gets the rebound. Still stays with the Hawks. Alex Sharp to throw it in on the sideline. Peter Carey goes up strong. Shot no good, but Karsten cleans up the glass, lays it up and in. Well, that's what brothers are there for. When, when one doesn't get it done, the other bails them out. <laughs> that's right. And that's exactly what they did. 23 points, largest lead right now for Frontier in this game. 2.45 to go in the third. Bryce King now with it on the left elbow. Bounce pass inside to Ferrari. Turnaround jumper is an air ball. Peter the rebound. Outlet to Alex. Sharp. Pull up jumper. Ribs out. Ferrari the rebound. Outlet to King. Bryce. Crosses half court. And the back dribble. Ferrari now. Top of the key. Tries to feed the paint. And it's going to be a kick. That'll be a reset. So a fresh 30 for Athol. Sharp gets a break, as does Evans into the game. Boudreaux for Frontier and Sam Felt Emmerich. Ferrari to throw for Athol. Lobs it back out to King. King over to Bousquet. Back to Bryce King. King hands off to Keegan Lutz. Right side it goes to Nick Bousquet. Bousquet on the right elbow. Back to Lutz. Lutz in a high post. Push it back out to King. Five seconds to shoot. Not a lot of time. You better shoot it. And they just get it off at the buzzer. And Dickerson Edwards, as the buzzer hit, fires it in. Wasn't sure they were going to get a shot off that time. Great defense all around by Frontier. <laughs> yeah, they've done a couple of times tonight. Peter Carey to Karsten on the baseline. Back to Peter. Give and go. Reverse layup is no good. And a foul under the basket. It's going to be on Boudreaux, I believe. Checking back in is Heath for Athol. Also back into the game. Let's see who that is. I believe that is Riley Payne. That's three fouls, by the way, on Colin Boudreaux. Ferrari now. Bobs it to Keegan. Lutz rolls through. Bounce pass on the baseline. Shot blocked by Karsten. And who's that going to be on? That's on Carey. That's his third. Oh, it's four on Boudreaux. So it's two shots at Boudreaux with four fouls now. He's going to get him out of that game right now. We probably won't see him until the fourth quarter. First shot is no good by Heath. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Holiday Pizza. The center of South Deerfield, Holiday is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. And Boudreaux, it looks like, is coming out of the game with four fouls. Smart move by their coach. I thought they were going to get Peter Kara in that foul, but it was on Boudreaux. Second shot. Also back in is Gabe Jones-Thompson for Frontier, replacing Peter Carey. Karsten gets the rebound off the missed foul shot. Delton Emmerich now brings it up for the Hawks. 45-24. Frontier by 21. Minute to go in the third. Jones Thompson now on the left elbow. In the middle to Felton Emmerich. Right side it goes to Robinson. Back to Felton Emmerich. Robinson 
Bounce pass to Carey. Carey, turnaround jumper, partially blocked. It was blocked. And Riley Payne comes away with it for Athol. Boy, Lutz had some guts that time. He almost came up with a steal, but uh, Athol still comes away with it anyway. <laughs> Dickerson Edwards now with it on the right elbow. Kicks it back to Ferrari, top of the key. Ferrari, right side to Lutz. Feeds the baseline, turnaround jumper off the glass, no good. Carry the rebound, being hassled. And gets it away to Felton Emmerich. 18 seconds left to go in the third. 45-24 Hawks. Clock, shot clock is off. Felt Emmerich right now with it. Spins back away and gets fouled by Keegan Lutz. As he was trying to spin away from containment. 8.6 seconds to go in the quarter. Emmerich had a tough time there with the defense from Lutz. He was trying to set up what looked to be the final shot, but... I thought make it a little tougher. <laughs> Wankowitz now tries to give it to Carey. Stolen. Ferrari ahead to Lutz. Lutz pulls it up off the glass. No good. And that will do it in the third quarter. We played three from South Deerfield. Within the three quarters, it's Frontier 45, Athol 24. Fourth quarter action upcoming. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney in Greenfield. Call his office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. Bobby C's DJ Service. Voted best mobile disc jockey in the Valley for five years running. Book your next party now at bobbycsdjservice.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Webbs, America's yarn store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market, great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in South Deerfield. Here we go. Fourth quarter upcoming, Red Hawks. In control still, they have led throughout this game. They have never trailed. Well on their way to their sixth win. Four wins away from qualifying for the postseason. And you know, it's not true to talk about the postseason because you know, all you gotta do is get 10 wins to qualify and Frontier is gonna definitely be there. It's a question of how deep they go this year. Yeah, they've definitely got the talent. Definitely got a height advantage and uh, just a talent advantage overall. Got Lemrick, fires it left side. Gets it back, top of the key. Bounce pass to Robinson. Robinson loses the handle, and Ferrari did a good job there. Yeah, Ferrari did a good job. It looked like just Robinson had some sticky fingers that time. <laughs> Athol to throw it in. Riley Payne running it up. Kicks it back out to Lutz. Keegan, part of that front of Athol football team. There's a right side to Payne. Riley to Lutz. Lutz bounce pass. Losing control though, Ferrari in the lane. Stolen back by Frontier. Robinson. Right side to Felton Emmerich. Robinson took a travel. Trying to free himself from Payne. Checking back into the game is Bryce King for Athol as is Mason Tarbell. Lutz now, in the backcourt to King, back to Lutz. King crosses half court, seven minutes to go in the game. Lutz left side to Payne, back to Lutz. King now, 11 to shoot. Lutz up fakes, and it's gonna be a foul, seven seconds on the shot clock. It's going to be Wachowicz. It doesn't surprise me that the Carey brothers are sitting on the bench right now. Up 20 points. No need for them to be playing with the, you know, with a big lead like this. Yeah, you might not see them again the rest of the night. It's entirely possible. I don't think so. That's probably, you know, they did their work. Let's now. Left side to King. But that's the good thing about this Frontier team is you can put a bunch of different players in there, various combinations, and it's going to work for you. Yeah, it seems like they've definitely got a lot of depth. 
And it's going to be Athol basketball with a fresh 30. Lutz to throw it in. Throws it back out to King. Lutz, left elbow. Shot no good. Rebound put back. Does not go. Frontier the rebound. Felton Emmerich. Timeout Frontier will take the break. 6.27 to go on this one. And the scoreboard is Frontier 45, Athol 24. This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Six twenty-seven to go in the game. Frontier throwing it in. Hawks are well on their way to another big win here. Got Limerick right side to Kaczynski into the game. Steal by Payne. Payne puts it up. No good. Rebound, muscle four. Block and stolen back. Nice to see Frontier still bringing some defensive pressure up 21 points. They're definitely not sitting back. They, they, they play the whole 32 minutes. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and as I said before, there's a lot of different combinations you can use. Boudreaux coming back in with the four fouls to replace Brett Robinson. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Boudreaux throw it on a dunk here if he gets a, if he gets a clean look. Yeah, it's that kind of game. I wouldn't be surprised if we do. <laughs> Left side it goes to Dickerson Edwards. To Lutz. 15 to shoot. Out of bounds, yeah. frontier ball. You know, I can't believe I just realized this, but actually Kaczynski's the only one with bright orange shoes on. He's got some yeah. style, that kid. He's you know, got it's, <laughs> it's funny, is Jeff brought that up the other night at the Greenfield game, too. And yeah, th those things ought to have their own battery pack. <laughs> Cross court it goes to Jones Thompson, top of the key to Boudreaux, back to Jones Thompson. A jumper in the lane, Wachowicz fires it in. 47-24. Okay. 23-point lead for Frontier. Lutz. To Bousquet. Bousquet gets it back. Outside the arc. Lutz on the right side. Down low it goes to Dickerson Edwards. Back out to Lutz. Trying to feed the paint. Dickerson Edwards pulls away. And that's going to be a shot clock violation. Yeah, Ethel tried to get it down low inside the paint, but the Frontier's defense just too tough that time. <laughs> very, very strong defensive effort there. And Brett Robinson checks back into the game. He'll run the backcourt with Sam Felton Emmerich. Also back in is Zat Nurminger. Kaczynski now with it, left side. Felton Emmerich, back to Kaczynski. Kaczynski spots up for three and hits it. He can shoot that shot. He likes the yeah, three. He, he loves the three. I can tell he does. He's got a nice arc on that three. 26-point <laughs> lead for the Hawks. 4.30 to go in the game. Athol trying to get something going. Turnaround jumper by Payne is no good. Felt Limerick the rebound. Gachinski for three again. That one hits the top of the backboard. <laughs> and ends up out of bounds off Robinson. They're going the other way. Well, it's nice about a blowout like this. At least it can give you a chance to work on things you don't usually get to do in close games like shoot threes. <laughs> That's correct. And Robinson, in that first game, the home opener against Ludlow, was shooting all kinds of threes. He can definitely shoot from outside. Lutz now trying to feed the paint. And Payne gets it to Bousquet. Shot at the side of the backboard. Rebound pulled down by Felton Emmerich. Yeah, both teams kind of losing their focus here on those last couple shots. Keep hitting the side of the backboard on those attempts. Kaczynski from the elbow for three. No good. Lots the rebound. Up ahead to Payne. Payne. Reverse layup is not loose. Nice oh, block that time. Got oh, some goodness. street ball going on here <laughs> now. <laughs> right side of Robinson. Robinson pulls up from 12. Rims out. So we're just sort of end to end free ball on here right now. Lutz stops, fires into the right elbow. 3.11 to go in this one. Payne pulls up, no good. Follows his rebound though and gets the shot. No one contested it.
50-26. Right side to Robinson. Robinson for three, spins out. Lutz the rebound. Keegan in the middle to Bousquet. Bousquet to Payne, Payne spins it back. Corner it goes to Pottinger. Pottinger running one-hander is no good. Boy, Pottinger got swallowed that time. I mean, defense has been there all night for Frontier. No complaints on their end. Absolutely. Felton Emmerich now holds it back to the ring. Left side to Gachinski. To Felton Emmerich. To Gachinski. Left side to Robinson. Robinson. Boudreau, turnaround jumper, partially blocked. Nurminger, reverse layup is good. Just a blind shot by the Z-Man. <laughs> Boy, talk about, I mean, it looked like he did that without his eyes closed. <laughs> it did, and I think he did. 26-point lead for the Hawks. Two minutes to go. Bousquet, bounce pass to Payne in a high post outside to Keegan Lutz. Lutz runs through, hook shot partially blocked by Boudreau. And cleaning up on the glass, Robbie Payne. Now a three ball is no good. One and out for Frontier by Robinson. Half all the rebound. Bousquet, off balance shot. Back iron, no good. And the rebound, Pottinger. Jumper, front iron, no good. And a put back, no good by Tarbell. It's been that kind of night for Athol. They'd be lucky if they get this to less than 20. <laughs> You're right, and I don't think that's going to happen. No. 1-12 to go in this one. Boudreau is out. So all the Frontier starters now are out of the game. And you're not going to see the far starting five again tonight, I don't think. Guchinski now with it. We've got the second string players in. Jumper, front of the iron, no good by Robinson. A minute left. Nick Bousquet now, crosses half court. Right side it goes to Pottinger. Pottinger drives through, swoops through. Layup is no good, out of bounds, and still half all ball. That Got ball it. never touched iron, so it's 16 seconds in the shot clock. It never touched iron. It's hard not to say Bousquet's name like bouquet, like a bouquet <laughs> of flowers. The S is the but key the S, the S is the key in that yes. one. Absolutely. <laughs> Lobbed out to Pottinger. And ball goes right side to Payne. And pass to Stevens, and that's going to be a 30 second shot clock violation. Again, that's three of those tonight. 26 seconds left, shot clock is off. Frontier will hang on and dribble it out probably once they go for a shot. Yeah, Frontier really dominated from the get-go here as they get to the final seconds. It's uh, I can see why they're one of the more formidable teams in the, uh, in the Western Mass, really. It's just, just tremendous talent, great shooting, uh, great defense. Uh, they dominate with on the boards with rebounds. Just complete game, total complete game ever tonight by Frontier. And that's how it's going to end. The final score from South Deerfield, the Frontier Red Hawks 52 and the Alpha Red Raiders 28. With the win, Frontier goes to 6-1. They are 2-0 in the league, and Alpha drops to 2-6, 0-3 in league play. I want to thank our underwriters, Attorney Dan Graves, Bobby C's DJ Service, Holiday Pizza, Webb's America's Yarn Store, and Cheswick's Market in the center of South Deerfield. For Alec Eckel, Megan Self, Sam Fitch, and the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports, Kevin Murphy, John Meisner, final thoughts. Uh, just a, like I said, total team effort by Fronts here tonight. Um, yeah, they, they don't show a whole lot of weaknesses as far as I'm concerned. They just gotta just gotta keep those uh, Carey brothers healthy, and you know as long as they are and they continue to <laughs> dominate games like they have been, I think they're gonna be a very tough opponent in the playoffs. And uh, Ethel looks like it's got their work cut out for them. It's gonna be a long rebuilding uh, process for them after this year. <laughs> Frontier will be in action again on Thursday night in Hatfield with Smith Academy. We'll be there with Bear Country. And uh, you can always watch all of these games on Frontier Community Access Television Cable Channels 12 in all four towns and Channel 15 in Deerfield. My broadcast partner, John Miser, this is Chris Collins saying so long for Good No Division, the final score for the final time. Frontier beats Athol, 52-28. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next time on Frontier Community Access Television.